Hey guys, sports shot here. Oh, and that person just morphed into me, but that's okay. Um, so I'm here with one of my, uh, I guess, fans, and we're gonna be doing a uh, video. Oh, I'm getting shot to death. That's nice. So this video. Oh, no, that's not. Um, okay. Now that I'm away from all the murderers, this video is how to have your base be almost, um, what do you call it, how to have your base be, but how to have, the, how to do anti, like, hacker protection or whatever you want to call it, or glitchy, because there's this glitch where you can, um, go through walls using a bike, and I'll show that in a different video later, and I gotta get this guy, but, um, So the three tips is you want to build far away, you want to use this node glitch that I actually discovered myself, and you want to use um, a double wall all to your advantage. So I'm not showing you how you can do that. So yeah, you want to build far away from the spawn town, and a great place for this, I suggest, is this building right here. It's in the town with the church and the uh, horse farms. So now we have our location. Now what you want to do is get your node and use the node glitch. I did this in another video. If you want to know exactly how to do it, you can check that out. Um, it's titled how to use the node glitch to your advantage. Essentially what you want to do is just line up your node and then walk straight in. Boom, place it down. Okay, now we need some lights. Just gonna add some of these telephone lights. So yeah, we're just gonna add some of these telephone lights for uh, simplicity. Now that we have light, so it's just um. So you want to hide your printers without having um people glitch into your base. Now the first thing you want to do is get walls and cover up a part of your base and you want to do that through uh, like double stacking your walls now I'm just going to do a real quick example of it so you can see now you just like what you do essentially is you have that wall on the outside you have this wall over here and this wall here and what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna make a kind of a shield and just really thick double walls so they can't glitch in so what'll happen is if they teleport in they'll just get flung under the map So yeah, you're gonna make it so thin that they won't be able to um, actually get in. And then you just do that with two layers up that wall, two layers up that wall, two layers up that wall. And then you have this wall with the node glitch and this back wall here. It already has a um, kind of double wall thing in it because I found out that the foundation on the side serves as its own like double wall thing but if you want for more security you can put a wall through there now how do you get out or er, wait no first what you want to do is place down your printer I'm just gonna place down one normal printer you can just throw them back here it doesn't matter so what you want to do is have the thick well it's more like a you know, 15 walls through there and then you can just put these here, and then on top of this, the windows make it like a triple wall. And then you just want to do the same thick walls, but up to the ceiling, so they can't spawn in a jetpack or just fling themselves over. 
and um, yeah. So what the node glitch does is it makes it so you can still build in your node and have printers on the same building. So yeah, those were the three tips to making sure that glitches don't get into your base. You want to use this double wall technique. This building works great for it because you can also use it in combination with the node glitch. And if you don't use this building, you want to use uh, another building that is also far away from the spawn. Now I'm going to make another video on how to glitch through walls using this thing right here, bite keys. So yeah, I'm going to make another video on that sometime in the future, probably in a few days. So yeah, remember to like, comment, subscribe, and that's it.